yeah? What do you mean? To help people? It's starting to sound like you're looking for something more. It is. Mostly. Okay, fine. There's talk and... I want to see. See what? I don't know. I just... I've got all this Chantry stuff in my head. And it makes sense, right? But it's... fuzzy. I want to see if it's all really real. I just don't know if I want to really know. So I'm selfish. It's all for me. Count yourself lucky, I guess. Again, with your people. Right, which ones? Your wishes, something, something. Sax Black. He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some... Yes. They don't smell the same, Raw. All right. The servants are having some... Spiders need to eat. The plums are already dead. Stand this. How many great wardens died here, and for what? Edamond and the wardens are definitely holed up at Adamant Fortress, by the way. Don't know if Hawk told you. Was the hero of Ferelden involved in all this? I'm not sure. After we defeated the Archdemon, he was made Warden Commander of Ferelden. He disappeared some time ago. Not long before I started investigating rumors of Corypheus. He may have joined the Orlesian Wardens after I went into exile. If so, hopefully he'll be on our side. But I wouldn't count on it. When we fought the Archdemon, he did things that... He walks a dark path. You were there, weren't you? You helped fight the Archdemon? <laughs> I'm going to be answering that question for the rest of my life. Yes, I was there. It was big. The hero of Ferelden was brave. <laughs> but that was ten years ago. What have you done for us lately, Anastar? New times. New problems. What's it like being a warden? Oh, it's wonderful. You get fresh peaches delivered every morning, first choice of local village girls, and bunnies too. Oh, maybe it's not that. Not even close to that. I watched my brothers die at Ostagar soon after I joined. I never thought I'd see wardens kill themselves. Why were the wardens trying to kill you? When Clorel started talking blood magic and demons to deal with the calling, I said it wasn't a good idea. First, it was awkward silences, some coughing. But when I mentioned Corypheus, things really went wild. The Warden Mages said I was interfering. Called me a traitor. Funny how often that happens to me. How could the Wardens willingly sacrifice their own to summon demons? I know it sounds nutty. Being a Warden makes us special. But it comes with a heavy price. You have to walk away from your old life and be prepared to do anything to stop the next blight. And we are the only ones who can. The only ones willing to make the decisions, the sacrifices. To do that, no, you wouldn't understand. Or, with that mark on your hand, maybe you would. Corypheus was held in a warden prison, right? So the Wardens should know all about him. You'd think the Wardens would share information with each other, but they're really big on keeping secrets. Maybe they think some knowledge is too dangerous, I don't know. I only found out about Corypheus after I started digging for information. Even then, it wasn't much. 